Hey girls, Maria Menounos here, author of the Every Girl's Guide to Life. Want to know my best tips and secrets for organization, travel, weight loss, beauty, fashion, and everything else in between? Go to bing.com slash Maria and pick up my new book, The Every Girl's Guide to Life. You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after show entertainment. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, this is AfterBuzz TV for Nurse Jackie. Tonight's host is DJ Jesse Janity. Joining Jesse will be AfterBuzz co hosts Aaron LaRosa. And David Schifalini. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Nurse Jackie news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off and the buzz continues. DJ Jesse Janity! What up, guys? It's your boy Jesse here with my dear friends Erin and David. Hello! Hello! What's going on, guys? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing long. Hello. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into Let's make this a <laughs> short <laughs> hello. And let's get right into Nurse Jackie tonight. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, we had some interesting hospital drama today. Yeah. I love when they do hospital episodes. Yes, they I have s- the best characters. Hilarious! Can we please talk about Zoe first? I love her. <laughs> <laughs> she Zoe is so cute. So cute. She is just. She's a, what I call finger crunch, where you take your finger, your index finger, and you <laughs> crunch it. <and> you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use that now. I know. Please steal really that from right. you. Finger crunch. Not stealing, it's sharing. I get it. I get sharing. It. That's really. Um. Good. Yeah. She she played a pretty important part of this episode because she was defending Jackie's honor. Yes. Yeah, it was fun sure seeing was. her with like a little bit of like strength behind her, mm-hmm. and not just like a cutesy like girl. Because I I've been watching since season one, and when Zoe first came in, she was really um just sort of on her own, and she was learning everything from Jackie. And Jackie was so mean to her and just awful to her. So it was kind of fun to see Zoe pretending to do the same thing to the new guy, Kelly, which is part of the drama oh, that came in today. He, that um, makes so much sense. Yeah, because Kelly's not an intern. He's a temp, it seems. But maybe he'll be hired. And he's very strong-headed. And he it's notices kind of like Jackie. like a know-it-all I, like did, prick. Didn't you just feel like there was... There, I don't know. They made it seem... Like the temp was going to have a bigger part this week. I, f- I mean, he didn't do anything that was really like. Well, I think it was like he caused drama, but it's funny because it wasn't with Jackie. It was like all of the other nurses right. trying to shuffle around him and figure out how Jackie would respond, which was so funny to me, especially with Zoe. You know, she she anticipated that Jackie would be upset once Kelly sat in her chair or, you know, once Kelly kind of stepped in in the operating room. And Jackie was pretty calm because. She did something early on in the show. Yes, she did. Bum, bum, but bum. before we get to that, um, so there was a little scene of uh, Cooper and O'Hara. They um, had to take care of two patients tonight. O'Hara um, had to deal with Nina, who got a bullet wound somehow. Somehow, and they she didn't had a dog really with her. Explain that. And she had a dog with her. Dog named Bingo. <laughs> was his name? Oh, I don't know. Oh. If his name was Bingo. Was it Bingo? No. She, remember, she looked at Nurse Jackie, looked at his tag, and she said, Bingo. And then oh. she laughed it off. Okay. That's um, funny. So, and Nina has this obs- I mean, obviously, I guess it's your dog. You would kind of have an obsession with it. but <laughs> She's, like, overly obsessed with the dog. There's something <laughs> Every going question. on with that dog. Everything had to do with that stupid dog. <laughs> Where's my dog? Well, honey, first of all, you're in a hospital, so you can't <laughs> see your dog right now. He's safe. We've mentioned this. Please make sure he doesn't run off with my dog. Um, if someone doesn't tell me where my dog is, <laughs> I'm going to freak out. <laughs> Can so you give him my number? Out. He took care of my dog. <laughs> you just got shot. Right. In your... Yeah. Okay, so she wants to give Lenny um, her number be- because he 
took care of the dog and she <laughs> gives the number to Zoe, which Zoe and Lenny have had a thing before in the past. Now, how deep is their thing? There was a point in the season when Zoe thought she was pregnant. Oh, that's pretty deep. Yeah. <laughs> no so, puns intended. Well, uh, well <laughs> some intended there. So, um, then we see this is where Zoe kind of got real cute. She went up to O'Hare at the uh, towards the end <laughs> of the episode, and you know she asked her for some advice. And O'Hare is like. O'Hara says she would burn it and scatter the ashes in the sea. Yes. Which is genius. That's what I, that would be my ex- exact advice as well. Burn it. Destroy that number. Really? But then again, I'm bitter. Yes. <laughs> that would be my advice. I wouldn't, I mean, yeah. If a complete stranger had no idea that you had a, hi- a history with this person? She knows. That's why she asked O'Hara. No, 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 no. I'm no, saying no. Like, Nina didn't. N- know. The, yeah, Nina gave, her the, gave Zoe the phone number to give to Lenny. Yeah, but you're asking about... O'Hara, right? And no. O'Hara's reaction? What are you asking me about? I'm asking you about... I'm talking about O'Hara. I'm putting you in Zoe's position. If I was Zoe, I would yeah. totally burn it. You're My so God. Bitter. But it's like an old boyfriend. You would really give your old boyfriend some new girl's number? Well, I don't know. Well, I would not. Well, if I still had feelings for them. Oh, I'm just that, that angry, and I don't want anyone be, yeah. to have access to You don't want anyone to, anyone to be happy. That's if it right. was my ex, I would be like, well, sure, you can be unhappy if you want as well. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> but um, so, but in the end, she, you know, pulled it up. She went, sat next to Lenny in the most awkward sense of sitting next to somebody while he's eating his meatball sandwich, <laughs> which he kicked the meatball underneath the seat, which was totally disgusting. Lenny's <laughs> always eating something that's very gross. Didn't that's even look like character. a meatball. <laughs> no, it did not. No. Um, and she gives him the number, and he wipes his mouth with it, throws it down, and she says, you know, there was a number on there, and he said he pulled out the watch and said... Well, was it yours? And she said, no. And he said, well, like I have time for anyone else. I thought that was cute. It was. It was a so little corny. Cute. He pulled the, ro- the watch the out. pocket watch out. Like, well, I think it's kind of <laughs> funny. Lenny's like a really funny character because he's kind of a schlep and he's always eating something disgusting. But then when he's around Zoe, he becomes kind of like a love bunny. And he always says these cute little things. So it's it's very refreshing to hear him not eating <laughs> or being a slob yeah or being a slob it's kind of nice so, you know that uh, good for good for lenny and good for zoe right yeah there. um so clearly sparks might be flying with the two of them um then we had cooper who was working on a patient who was trampled over and <laughs> i love cooper's like reaction with all these patients because he really d- could care less he, <laughs> he he cares but he's more into what's going on in his life um yeah. at the moment um, He's suffering his own trauma on this episode, still reeling from his parents' divorce, from his mom's divorce. Emotional trauma. Mm-hmm. In which he needed a crutch, which was a physical crutch, <laughs> <laughs> an actual crutch, because um, he was complaining about his foot, his life, his mom's divorce. and Now, he used the crutch, he said, to, so he wouldn't grab. Um, well, okay, so... For those of you who, who tune in regularly to Nurse Jackie, you'll be aware that that Coop has a Tourette's symptom where he will grab women's breasts when he gets nervous. So he says that he was so nervous and so anxiety-ridden about his mom's divorce that he almost grabbed Acolyte's boob. Hilarious. And, she, and then he starts hyperventilating in Eddie's back room, which is amazing. In which Jackie takes the crutch away and, you know, she mamas him. Yeah. He tells him I believe in you and yeah. very tender moment. He sucks it <laughs> up and walks back into the Mr. the trampled dude's room where the temp said, "Hey, your ribs look great." And the guy didn't want it. What is it with these patients? They don't want to hear anything from the nurses, but they well, want Well, like y- aren't the nurses not supposed to say anything anyway? Aren't they supposed to wait for the doctor? Yeah. Yeah. That's not their job. I mean, I probably I wouldn't want to hear news from a nurse either. Yeah. Well, I think that's that's the sentiment, but I th- yeah. I think probably when you're in a hospital long enough, you you probably do know what like a broken rib oh, looks well, like. Yeah, I'm sure you do. But um this this specific character, this specific patient was insistent that he had something wrong with him. He heard a pop. Also, his coworkers were out in the waiting room and thought that he was being kind of a baby about everything. So I think insurance. Yeah, <laughs> insurance. And I th- but I think Workman's Coop, comp. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And so he was clearly faking, but I think Coop saw sort of a kindred spirit in that kind of like exaggerated like 
something's wrong with me. I can't, you know, I can barely move. And Coop's right. sort of the same way. He exaggerates everything. Oh, but they had like a little connection, which was nice. And he like seems to, you know, have made a, a new friendship. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. Because I think with this policeman Coop understands what he's going through. <laughs> The oh, two cool. of them. Yeah. Um, we also had another bitter, pa- or uh, I wouldn't say bitter patient, but a hilarious patient. Uh, an older Tootie. Was that her name? Yeah. Tootie? Tootie. Tootie. Oh, my God. Who's an, uh, an older... Or Toddie. Toddie or Tootie. She's an old, rich, white lady. Yes, yeah. She was hilarious. With heavy red makeup. <laughs> I love She's her. Awesome. She's amazing. Zoe walked in, and <laughs> she did not want to hear anything out of Zoe's mouth, and I thought it was hilarious. She said... <laughs> Um, she doesn't look like a nurse or a doctor. She looks like she should be giving eardrops to tiny animals. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Hilarious. So funny. Um, and then even Jackie comes in, and who most people respect Jackie when, you know, Jackie has something to say. And she didn't because she was wearing trousers. And she had short hair. Yes. <laughs> so this old woman, this old bitty, makes fun of them both for the way they look. But then Dr. O'Hara comes in, and Dr. O'Hara looks like... A lady. A lady. A proper lady. A proper woman. And that makes Toddy very happy. <laughs> and Dr. O'Hara ends up giving her... Uh, it's funny because she, the woman got heart palpitations in Jersey Boys. Yeah. Have either of you seen Jersey Boys? Uh, uh, no, but I know that it's about um, <laughs> Frankie Valli. Yeah. I, I just I thought that was very funny. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah. And then Dr. O'Hara's fix is a... Um, what is it? A glass of sherry a day. That's right. Which I thought was fun. Yeah. I want that prescription. Right? And that's exactly At what five that o'clock. woman needs yeah. Yeah. in life. Um, she's old. <laughs> she's an she old needs, bitch. She's she's old. old. She needs a little happiness in her life. Okay. <laughs> she's living in a home. I'm not even old and I have a glass of something a day. A glass? What? Let's be honest. I didn't say anything. Come on, <laughs> be you, honest. You, you can be honest here after this. <laughs> A bottle, <laughs> bottle or a day. two. I have a glass <laughs> bottle a every day. A box. I drink a box of wine a day. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor said it was good. <laughs> um, so then we had Gloria, who, you know, she kind of continued her drama from last week. They were actually taking all of the statues out of her chapel. Her relics. She was just sitting there depressed throughout the entire episode. She was angry the whole episode. I mean, at the end when she was sitting there with Jackie, she... She was pissed. She, she was pissed. I'm surprised she allowed those statues to be taken away at that moment. Yeah. I thought she was going to do something crazy at the end. And she calls the, the people taking the statues pirates. Yes. You're pirates. She's yelling. And that they are. Um. So let's talk about Eddie and Jackie this episode. This was an interesting episode with Eddie and Jackie. Yeah. It was very up and down with them. Um. Yeah, at the beginning, you think Jackie's okay seeing him. Yeah, and he but he tried to make her jealous and... Um, yeah, but he's trying to make her jealous with because he says that um, her husband Kevin Kevin wants him to ask out Toonie, mm-hmm. and so he says he's going to take her out to the Museum of National History or Natural History. I know I wrote National, National too. History. I don't know why. The Museum of Natural History. <laughs> now, is there is a like connection <laughs> between them and that museum? And the Natural History Museum? Um, or does Jackie no, like I don't think so. Things? I just think it's, you know, one of those like, oh, I'm taking this girl on a proper date, you know, a museum. To the Natural date. History Museum? Yeah, How I mean. How boring is that? I, something <laughs> tells me, and knowing Toonie's character <laughs> as if she would want to go to the Natural History Museum, she wants to go get like bombed somewhere. <laughs> right? Like, Come home crying. Who wants to go on a first date to the Natural History Museum. Like I mean, I think it's the entire world. No, you don't. I do. Don't I lie. Love, I like history You're a museums. drunk. You're a drunk. You're drunk <laughs> you right just now. admitted it. <laughs> when when <laughs> did I? before. You're full of it. Let's let's drink a box of wine and go to the Natural <laughs> History Museum. I, doesn't that sound like <laughs> that a fun day? Like fun. I'll put a straw in it. <laughs> It'll be a really nice date, just you guys. carry a box around. <laughs> let's do it. Let's blow this taco stand. Let's go. <laughs> Why are we doing after bun? Yeah, exactly. We could be drinking rosé out of a box. <laughs> <laughs> we can I'm each there. take sips from each other's box. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Um, it's adorable. So we also had a scene with them. Um, I mean, they kept popping in and out of each other's. Well, I guess Jackie kept popping in and out of Eddie's office. Mm-hmm. Um, and then towards the end, it was just an awkward scene where Eddie walked in and Jackie's she, with the doggy. She's with the doggy, and she says, "Please don't ask her out." Yeah, Thoughts. please don't ask her out. 
be. I don't know why she would do that. I well, mean, let's get actually before we do that, let's get into the fact that this was the first episode that we saw Jackie since you know we've been watching. She mm-hmm. actually took a pill. Yeah. yeah. Today. She was very calm today, and she seemed yeah. to cope a lot better. Yeah, and that's why when Eddie first came up, it seemed like she would be able to handle it because she's on the pill. Because she was like, totally ask out Toonie. Fine, great. But then we see her at the end of the day. So where do we think her head was at at the end of the day? Perhaps she was coming down from her high. I think she <laughs> she might still have some feelings for for Cav- or for uh, Eddie. I think. Well, she yeah, might. I mean, I'm sure she still has feelings for him, but... I mean, I can't imagine sleeping with someone even if it's an affair and then having them date your sister-in-law and have to work with them yeah, let alone. and have to work with them and the sister-in-law is living with you i mean i, mean, I wouldn't want that either Dude. maybe that's just it though maybe she just doesn't want him to ask her out because she lives with Tooney and that's her sister-in-law and maybe she wouldn't care if it was a different woman yeah maybe she wouldn't i think i think eddie's doing this though not because he's all that. Int- I don't know. I I don't see him that interested in Toonie. We haven't seen scenes with them together where they've been. That's true. Crazy lovebirds, but or um, even like talking on the phone. Yeah. So I feel like Eddie's doing this to get Jackie totally. angry, riled up, riled up, which she does. I mean, she she says it calmly, to be fair, but she doesn't want them dating, which is sort of the first time that she's let her guard down. She said it calmly, but with such. I don't know what emotion was behind that. She had sad eyes. She yeah. She totally had sad she eyes. She did look sad. That's true. Um, now, poor sad. Jackie, oh, baby. I kind of, I really wanted to see the conversation she was supposed to have with O'Hara. I was yeah. really interested. Oh, yeah. That was a great point, too, because O'Hara is now willing to talk to her about her personal life again, which O'Hara has been reluctant to do. She's kind of been holding Jackie at a distance. Okay. So it it was nice to see O'Hara kind of cave a little bit. Although Jackie's lying to her about what her problems are. Right. Well, I mean, kind of understandable, but well, O'Hara Jackie just needs a friend. Jackie needs a friend, but O'Hara did know about Eddie. Oh, okay. She knows all about their past, so I think Jackie... I, I don't know what she's trying to do. I guess she's trying to really like be well, clearly, in denial. Well, she's manipulating everybody in her life. Yeah, that, everyone that's, that's true. around her. Because I mean, we saw her earlier on in the episode, um, googling things. <laughs> oh, that's true. She the, was the googling oxy, oxycodone, oxycodone, oxycodone and something else. What was she googling? Um, she said ro- it said Roxy something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what that is. And then um, she hit it. And but then she deleted. She cleared her history, and then. As her husband was in, she started Googling like AA meetings and mm-hmm. like Al Anon and like yeah. withdrawal symptoms and things like that so that he would see that. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, she's, she's manipulating her husband in that sense so that he thinks that she's doing what she needs to do to get better. Yeah. And then I guess she's manipulating O'Hara to just have a shoulder to lean on. Yeah. Exactly. Because she had just spoken to Tooney earlier saying that he was doing good. He was in like a great mood. Yeah. So my thing with it is what, you know, and they showed it at the end of the episode. Um, everyone inside, you know, Jackie's house was laughing and having, fun. having a good time. And Jackie was sitting outside just depressed. And it's funny because to look at that and see, like, they have, she has, like, the perfect family. She has two one in daughters. Sense, in yeah, sense, they really in did look perfect in this scene because they're all happy and playing in the kitchen dancing around the dancing. kitchen i never danced around the, i don't remember <laughs> dancing around the kitchen yeah, that's your that's sad childhood that's true. you don't have to bring it on us yeah. i was like i'm cooking get out of here <laughs> give me my box get out of here Ken. <laughs> give me my box of wine ma i'll leave you alone no mott's apple juice for you take, <laughs> take the shot in it um so i mean the, my thing <sighs> about it is like Really, Jackie? What's going? What is going on with it Jackie? It has to be what like a symptom of like of her taking the medication that she's taking. I mean, whatever she's taking, it has to be like depression or something like that. It has to be well, one I of the it, symptoms of it. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was kind of good a good visual because you have Jackie on the outside, kind of looking in as she always is. She sort of like lives her life on the outside of everything, you know, because she's never really involved with her family because she's always pretending to be something else. Um, so I, th- I thought that was a good visual and it was. pretty, pretty Accurate. symptomatic, yeah, of what she is. But yeah, she looks upset and sad and depressed. And uh, it's funny because at the top of the episode, uh, it started with Grace, 
who was googling googling, googling Satan googling, <laughs> googling Satan, Lucifer fallen, <laughs> Lucifer the fallen angel she was telling <laughs> the devil and Justin Bieber yeah yeah which I love. Which are all the same yeah. thing. Exactly. Those are great Google oh, search results. Evil. Exactly. <laughs> um, you know, and then there's, you know Jackie comes in and she was upset by this and pulls it away. And now, I understand she took the pill and she seemed to handle things better. But I personally think that she handles everything ten times better off of the pill. Oh, okay. Really? Yes. Um, I mean, as we've seen with the past few episodes where she hasn't taken anything, um. She's handled every situation that's come come around, um, and she couldn't handle the situation with the older woman today. She c- didn't handle the situation. Um, well, True. clearly she can't handle the situation with Eddie, but she's allowing it to affect her. She's taking these pills, and they're putting her in a, a calm state, but it's also putting her brain in a calm state in which she can't sit and, you know, she's... Th- She's thinking about the wrong things. So you see her as like more vulnerable when she's on her. Absolutely. Meds. And, Interesting. Uh, you know, and at the end of the episode, when she's sitting on on the outside of that family, it just all comes together, and it's like a pity party. And this is what you know, wh- what h- comes with uh, when you're dependent on you know certain drugs. Yeah. You, you depend on them, and you feel pity on yourself rather than dealing with the situation and being happy with what you have in life. And you're a mother. You're supposed to be take. You take care of everybody else at the hospital, but you don't take care of your family. You know, we did see them. You know, they had a little sex scene today. Oh and yeah. Th- and then right that after that, scene. she's looking up <laughs> drugs. You know, um, so what triggers her? I have no idea. But I think it's the temp. <laughs> I know the, the news thing is, is it could be one of many things with Jackie. I don't even know if she needs a trigger anymore. I think she just needs her fix, no matter what. Um, I don't know what her trigger was today. No. Oh, I'm well. telling you it was the temp. David thinks it's the temp. I know it's the temp. I could see it. Yeah. Well, I see it uh, definitely <laughs> was the temp, but I'm I'm just saying in general, what is her trigger? Yeah. You know, how can you look at your family? You know, you just saw the mittens the other day. Like, how can you look at your family? How can you look at what the situation is? You know, you're always saying, oh, Toonie, she's a this bad person. She does the A, B. You're always judging toony but you're never judging yourself you never yeah i think for jackie too her family is a trigger a lot of times even seeing her daughter looking up satan i think probably gave her anxiety because her daughter is kind of um always anxious and always consumed by death so (laughs) seeing that her daughter is looking up death and and things that are evil probably makes jackie anxious like justin bieber like justin bieber god god bless his evil soul (laughs) (laughs) Well, That's I mean, right. that pretty much wraps up the episode. You guys have anything to say before we uh, head out to a commercial break? No. no. Any last comments or thoughts? <laughs> no. No. Well, we're going to be sipping on our wine. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, we'll get into predictions. Want to find out what the after buzz is about? Janice is a drama queen. This yeah. is the divide that is going to carry the series. Give us a call. 424 256 1729. 424. 424- Two five six seventeen twenty nine. It's television, and they want it to be as dramatic as possible. I mean, it's Shakespearean. Like you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Find out why After Buzz TV is the number one source for after show content. Now, in the eyes of Jimmy, Nucky is a villain. Four two four two five six seventeen twenty nine. Four two four two five six seventeen twenty nine. I mean, who would you guys rather hear that from? Your husband or your best friend? <laughs> the wig! The wig! Oh, come on. When the TV show is over, get your after buzz on. Get your after buzz on. <laughs> well, we're going to get our predictions on. Oh, shit. And now, oh, your shit. after buzz TV predictions. predictions. <laughs> See, creepy. I predicted that would happen. I predicted that <laughs> would happen. Freaked me out. Girl, are you like a psychic or something? <laughs> Girl, what you doing over there? You, you bringing some cards? I'm Miss Cleo up in here. <laughs> oh, Miss Cleo. <laughs> All right, so predictions. We saw, what did we see? We saw, um, well, we saw, we saw Kevin was the big one at the end. He finds yeah. some finding pills. some pills. In a Tic Tac thing, right? We saw Eddie. I think it was in the floss, actually. Ah, uh, in the Oops. floss. We saw, uh, Sorry. Sorry. we saw Coop 
freaking out yet again. Again. So Jackie calms him down. Jackie calming him. Oh. And we saw Zoe and Thor waiting for Kevin. No. Who were they waiting for? They were saying someone runs to work shirtless. Oh, yeah. I don't remember, but I know that Zoe uh, offered to lie with him, right? To wait with him. To wait with him. Oh, okay. Lie with him. <laughs> I thought that she was offering to have sex I'll with him. I'll sit here and I lie with you. I clearly was thinking of oh, something Oh, that else. type of lie? Yeah. Like lay? Yeah. Like in the biblical I'll lay sense? with you. I'll lay with you. This is what happens when sidewalk. you go to 12 years of Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> and you I will lay, lay Okay, with so we saw those things. So, so what do you think will happen, boys? I'm going to say, I think next week is when Jackie and the temp are going to get into it. I think so, too. And oh. I think she's going to get thrown out of the house. Ooh. Really? Yeah. I think maybe Ooh. you're right Ooh. because of the pills. Yeah, he yeah. finds them and then he's going to toss gonna her out on her out. ass. He's going to freak out. He's going to freak out. Do we think that the show will take a real drastic turn in the fact of she steals pills from the temp who had to bring the temp, who had to bring oh, the pills? Oh, right. So oh, she yeah. steals the pills. Then her husband. Morphine patches. Morphine, morphine patches, patches, yeah. Um, and then Kevin finds pills. So do we think Showtime would take us on the journey of her losing her family and her job at the same time? I it hope might, so. You know, because also this isn't like the first or second season. We're getting into later seasons now, so they might we take it to that we need to next level. I think they should. If they don't, you know, I think they should consider it. That's it. We're not doing it We're not doing it anymore. anymore. <laughs> no, we're canceling. Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> Get my big box of wine. We'll just sip that. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, I mean that's. I definitely think we're gonna get a lot of drama next week. So either that, either she's getting kicked out of the house, or he's going to see if she owns up to it. Yeah. He's gonna give her the chance to own up to it. Then right, because he did see out. the recovery and all that stuff. So maybe he thinks she might be going through withdrawals. Or maybe. maybe. But no, I want drama. I want drama too. I also kind of want something bigger to happen with Coop. As far as like what? what? I don't know. I'm tired of his parents just being the only drama. That's all I'm saying. I want something bad. I, I kind of want. So I want something deeper from yeah. you. Yeah. Like a girlfriend. Like a lady. Ooh. Friend. Ooh. Ladies. Well, guys, we thank you for listening, and we will be back shortly with the United States of Tayra. 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 Tune in. Soon. But we'll Bye. be back next week, same time, same place. Peace. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzzTV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzzTV or its owners or principals.